South Africa needed a long partnership on day three if they were to draw level with Australia, but Jacques Rudolph's patience ran out in just the opening half hour. Next over, Peter Siddle made the crucial breakthrough with Graham Smith out for 122. Even if the tourists' captain was not convinced. Suddenly Australia was on top with both Siddle and Ben Hilfenhaus taking two wickets as the hosts sent five South Africans back to the pavilion before lunch. No better feeling for a quick bowler with a new ball and seeing the pegs go flying. But the session ended on a sour note for the home team as James Pattinson limped off with a side strain while Jacques Callas and Faf du Blessis fought back for South Africa before lunch. He's heaved it, used his feet and heaved it over long off. Resuming at 7 for 272, Callas and test debutant du Plessis picked up the scoring rate after lunch. It'll be four more. That's the third boundary in that region. Struggling with a hamstring injury, Callas was clearly not interested in running between wickets. He goes again. Does he hit the gap? Yes, he does. Brilliance. The 37-year-old all-rounder powered his way to 50. And again, just too short from Clark. But Australia's captain hit back two overs later. Yeah! Now, what's this hit? Is this run up the glove? Australia seemed very short as the DRS sent Callas on his way for 58. Duplessis grabbed a maiden test half century soon after and added some crucial late runs, but South Africa's innings was over when the 28-year-old was dismissed for 78. Got him. The tourists all out for 388 with a session to play on day three. With a 162-run lead already, David Warner and Ed Cowan got Australia motoring with some stunning shots after tea. Nicely played. Cowan would have been out for 26, but a no-ball denied Imran Tahir his first wicket of the match. That heel is on the line, and that is a hammer blow for Imran Tahir. Before Rory Kleinfeld gave South Africa some hope late on with three wickets, including Rob Quiney as the Victorian failed to score on debut. A, beauty, a pair for Rob Quiney. Dale Stain got in on the action too, and Australia collapsed to five for 111 by the end of play, 273 ahead of South Africa. He was flirting with danger. The bat was wide, and look at Stain. Talk about pumped up.